What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Flight Simming with D at D Sims Corner on Facebook and YouTube. And we are in beautiful San Juan. In the Sim, of course. I mean, I wish in real life, but in the Sim. And uh, this is a dope uh, scenery. I think it's by Latin, Latin VFR, I think. I think so. Anyways, I got so many airports and so many, so much scenery now that it's it's hard to keep track of. VFR, Latin VFR, not FV4. I don't even know what the hell I said. But anyways, moving on. So we are in the Vision Jet, and uh, this one in the Honda Jet, man, I'm loving them. I, I, I've been enjoying flying these uh, these birds, man. So uh, we are in the Vision Jet, and we're going to head over to uh, St. Martin, Princess Juliana, man, that famous uh, approach, Runway 10. Everybody chilling on the beach <laughs> while they're getting blown away by, by the uh, by airplanes, <laughs> by planes flying by them, or over them, I should say. Anyways, man, we're gonna we're gonna jump in. Uh, if you haven't flown the the Vision Jet or the Honda Jet, man, they're they I mean they're user friendly planes, man. They're meant for like a guy like me who just decides Fire. that I have some Fire. money and Fire. I'm just gonna fly a plane. Fire. Uh, Fire. These things, Fire. I mean, I don't want to say they practically fly, fly themselves, but they practically Stop. fly themselves. Stop. Uh, this one in particular has a button in the back cabin that if should the pilot become incapacitated, you hit the button and the plane of the plane of literally fly itself to uh, the nearest airport and land. Um, as well as um, it has a parachute. So like if like all the engine like the engine went out and you had nothing uh, else left, <laughs> you could you could just hit the 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 uh, the but the uh, pull up top and uh, a parachute would come out. Um, so yeah, so it's one of those planes, man. Uh, I, it's funny in the comment section, uh, I heard somebody label these planes as flying iPad. <laughs> um, but, uh, I found that funny. Uh, anyways, man, we're, we, we're not using any ATC. We're not doing any of that stuff. We're just getting up in the air, um, and, uh, getting out of here. So let's, let's make that happen. Um. If you follow the checklists, which of course uh, I'm not doing, and you know, listen, I'm not. Uh, I, I do most times, but uh, when I'm just trying to get up in the air, uh, you know, I, I forget things. So never use these as tutorials or instructional videos, but more as let's see what kind of idiotic flying uh, D is gonna do <laughs> on this episode. So it's pretty much what I do, man. It's nothing here is for instruction or to act like I know what I'm doing. Uh, for the most part, I'm learning a lot, uh, but uh, I have no clue what I'm doing. And that's the beauty of it, you know what I'm saying? As I, I do things, I learn um, and uh, and just learn about planes, right? I, I, I research, I, I love watching other people's videos. Um, and uh, that's what it is, man, take it for what it is. Um, so I'm checking my... Uh, Doing a little uh, instrument test there, making sure my ailerons, my uh, my uh, my rudder, all work. And now we're on our way over here. We're gonna head over to the runway and head over, man. It's it's a short short flight, uh, about uh, 40 minutes. Now with the Vision Jet, unlike the Honda Jet that came out with the 1.0.7 with the E2 variant, uh, the Vision Jet yet uh, has yet to have a uh, working VNAV. Um, it's pretty much, uh, what do they call that? Uh, the word is slipping my mind, advisory. Uh, and even that, uh, it doesn't uh, work well. So you have to look at your charts and make sure that you're, uh, you're getting down pretty at, at the right time. Which, flying into Princess Juliana, <laughs> as many times as I've flown in there in the sim, I've, I, I don't get it right. 
Hopefully, I will this time. Um, yeah, uh, the approach for Princess Julianne is kind of weird. Uh, you know, the way you uh, you set up the approach and the arrival, kind of, I don't know. I don't know how pilots do it in, in, li in real life. I try to look at f uh, flight radar, uh, you know, um, certain waypoints, um, kind of throw you off. Uh, and then you have the, uh, you have to make the decision to abort um, landing way before, I think. So yeah, it's uh, it's something that you have to. I have to practice. I'm pretty sure other heads that have uh, been doing flying in the sim uh, have got it down packed. I tell you with this much: if I had to do it in real life, I'm hitting that runaway real hard. <laughs> so we're making it to the runway. We're gonna take off. So yeah, let's let, let's get up in the air and then. Uh, you know what I'm saying? We'll, we'll touch on some other things. Yeah, so I noticed in the, it, it, with, with the vision jet, I, and I'm, I'm doing it, I, I've done this a few Don't times shake. where, like, on takeoff, if I'm not paying attention to the stick, what, I mean, I mean, that sounds silly, right? You should always be paying attention. But for some reason, when you're taking off, like, one the wings, one either, either it's one side or the other, really dips, right? Um, right before uh, I hit the autopilot, and then you get that don't sink message. I'm sure it's user error. I'm sure it's me. Uh, I just have to stay focused on keeping that stick <laughs> straight. Um, but yeah, that's the reason why I get, you get those couple of don't sink warnings. Uh, I'm really in no danger that I think. But you know, once I hit the autopilot, it's all smooth and ready. And, 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 and you know, but it's the first that first 400 feet. Oh, look how, look how dope that is. I'm telling you, man. Microsoft Flight Simulator for all the bugs and all the little problems it has. It, it can be just a beautiful sim. But anyways, uh, yeah, so it just dips off to one side or the other. And uh, and it's just with the vision. Uh, the Honda Jet, I don't get that. Um, so I'm pretty sure it's probably a real characteristic, or it isn't. Don't know. But uh, I've done that already a few times. I try to remind myself on takeoff, yo, really keep that stick straight. You know, uh, control the... But I always get that wing dip, and uh, 
and there you go. There's the uh, so right up top there that in the middle, that lever will eject the parachute, and there's a certain level. Certain level of uh, certain level of altitude uh, before you could you you either have to uh, I think it's like under I think it's under two thousand you have to do it immediately like if you had to or above three thousand you make a decision uh, there's another video on YouTube uh, of uh, of a uh, of a Vision Jet Pilot, who actually goes through the whole thing, and I'll, I'll, I'll post that link in the description, but he, he's really detailed uh, with uh, the procedures of flying uh, uh, the Vision Jet, so, look at that, there I go. <laughs> Put some, some Netflix on. <laughs> I'd be dope if that actually like you could actually see some pic like actually see something on it. I figure at some point they'll figure something out how to make that work. Um, but uh, yeah, so here we are, man. We we are up. We're on our way, and uh, we're gonna let's make our way over to uh, TNCM Princess uh, Juliana Airport. So uh, I've been trying to uh, throw up some uh, American Truck Simulator content on on the on the channel, being that uh, you know this channel is uh, does feature American Truck Simulator. But I've been having a lot of a lot of problems, man. I've been trying to complete. I did one large uh, one long trip, about a thousand miles or so, and I kept crashing. I would crash every, you know, every like 10 minutes, every 10, 15 minutes, man. And um, yeah, I got a lot of mods in there, but I refused to like the whole trying to figure out what mod it's called. You know what I'm saying? Like I, I took out the maps, whatever additional maps I had on there and still causing crashes. So it's such a, and I know it's an old game, it's older game or whatever. It's just such an unoptimized game. And, and, and I get it. I mean, I, I dig that SES is working on different maps. By the way, that is, I think, St. Thomas. But, um, you know, they're working on different maps. I, I just wish they would just optimize the game, you know, like put it on a, di like I know that's not easy, but like put the game on a different engine. Like, you know, the draw distance is terrible. Like you drive in and the freaking maps pop up. And again, that has to do with the age of the, of the simu simulator. But I don't know, man. I, I, I would just wish that, and I hope maybe somewhere in the all back office, they're working on a new version of American Truck Simulator. And not just just keep building maps, because I mean I'm pretty sure a lot of stuff could just port over, right? But it just needs so much improvement. Like the, you know, I have a pretty solid computer, and the optimization is terrible. Like it just stutters a lot, and again you get random crashes, and I don't know, man. And so so it's been hard to like get good content out of American Truck Simulator as much as I would love to add more. And I have a few videos here and there on the channel, but. The focus has been flight simulator. I've been enjoying flight simulating uh, much more than truck simulator. And the fact that you know I have to disconnect the Logitech and just put it all up. I don't have space, which is I just have to move one thing and put the other. So at some point I'll add some more truck simulator stuff. I've been using my stream deck to like control a lot of the buttons, so that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, man. So you know that's pretty much where I'm at with American <laughs> Truck Simulator. I'll throw it up play and then I start crashing and I'm like alright I'm over this and I got some pretty cool trucks on there you know I got John Ruta's I got a few of John Ruta's trucks and Dom's uh, 379 so you know I haven't even been taking advantage of enjoying those trucks uh, I guess I'll just get into it and just start having like a week of just doing trucks in uh, but for the, right now I've just been enjoying 
flying. Right? I've been in, I've been enjoying being in the air. <laughs> but anyways, man, we are making our way. We're about to start making our approach, and hopefully, this doesn't this in itself is not a disaster. Um, so uh, again, the VNAV is advisory. You know, for, for me, I guess I don't know if it's working for anybody else. I don't think it is working in the Vision J yet. Uh, but um, you know, you got to pay attention and start your descent at the right time. So we'll see if I do that. <laughs> All right, well, we're making our approach, man. I always like to just, uh, in every video, just say thanks to all, uh, you know, the folks that watch the videos and and uh, subscribe and, you know, like the video. Again, you know, I'm a small channel. I, I barely have 100 people, subscribers on, but I appreciate y'all. Uh, this is just to, rec you know, to really just um, record my, my, you know, my, my road. It, it, I don't even know the right word to say. My my journey, I guess it sounds so corny, but my journey in flight simming, and just like to, to, to just display my improvements and just the diff different planes I fly and stuff like that, man. It's just it's just to you know uh, share my love of flight simming with 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 whoever wants to watch. Uh, you know, somebody may watch this and may want to get into flight simming themselves. Um, you know, as the community grows, the more support we get from vendors and stuff like that, and more cool development. You know, so a lot of great planes coming up this year, man. Uh, the ones I'm looking forward to is the uh, the A380 from Fly By Wire. Uh, uh, what's another one? I know there's like a Learjet in the works. I forgot who's making it, but that's in the works. Um, so you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm looking forward to all that, man. It's going to be dope. A uh, uh, couple of Boeings that are coming out, I think. Uh, I think a 757 just got announced as freeware, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so you know, a lot of great planes coming out. Uh, hopefully, uh, PMDG comes out with. And, and here I am. I haven't even gotten the 738. But uh, allegedly, there's a max. Hopefully, there'll be a max eight in the works. So uh, there's also the 319, uh, the A319 that's uh, in the works. The 322 that's in the works. 
So yeah, hopefully all those come out this year. Man. I'm, 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 I'm trying not to spend too much money in flight simming, but it's hard, right? Uh, when you got great stuff coming out. I know Just Flight's coming out with that uh, FS Traffic, which I'm going to cop to see if it's any better than the uh, the free FS LTL, uh, which for me, in the most part, has worked. I heard, you know, I heard a lot of people say it doesn't work. Uh, for some people, it doesn't work. It, cra you know, it, just, it, it, it drops FPS and all that stuff. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But um, it, once that drops, I'm copying it. So... We'll see, man. Uh, I'm looking forward to the future of flights in meeting 23. Um, I know there's only a couple, I think there's only one major system update this year. That may change, I hope. I know a lot of people complaining that, you know, why is there only one, you know, system update planned for this year? And that's kind of my feeling as well. But we'll see what happens. Anyways, we're going to make our approach here and uh, see if I can land this bird. As it is with every video in one piece. Yeah, you pour right in front of us, man. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> I'm hit or miss when I always uh, uh, arrive at this airport. I, I, I'm either a nice landing or a total disaster. And, like, <laughs> it's just like wasted a whole a whole flight <laughs> at the end. Uh, there's one, actually, there's one app that I just bought, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are familiar with, the FSI panel. 
that thing is really dope. Uh, you could actually set your plane up. It actually, what it does is it sets your plane up on an approach, uh, depending on what airplane you use, and um, it actually sets you up to a final approach, and you can practice your landings with that app. Um, it's a real, it's a real dope app. Uh, I'll put the link in the description if you want to look into it. I, I don't know. I think there's a demo that you can download and check it out. But uh, it's a great app. I, I bought it uh, a few weeks back and I've been using it to practice my landings, practicing my flares, man. That's my problem. I need to practice my flares. So um, yeah, so you know, um, I did notice that with FS Realistic, uh, it makes you, it makes it look like you're landing harder than you really are. So. Sometimes I think, like when I have it on, sometimes I think, oh man, I really slammed, but it, and then when you look at the replay, I'm like, wait, but it wasn't that bad. Uh, but anyways, here we go, we're making our way there. Beautiful area. Love to visit this place in real life. Really like how this just, uh, one of the, this is one of the famous approach approaches in the world with the people on the beach and planes just literally flying feet above them. <laughs> it's crazy. So here we go, there's a runway right in front of us. Let's see how we do. Feels like I'm coming in a little too fast, but let's see, we just, no, we're good, we're good. I'm, I'm, I'm at approach speed. We'll see how this goes. Oh, look at the people, right over there. Not too bad. Not too bad. I dig it. <laughs> All right, man, we made it. Welcome to uh, St. Martin. St. Martin. Anyways, man, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. There's going to be some replays playing uh, right after we park this, this bird. So check that out. Anyways, uh, like I was saying, catch you on the next one, right? Peace.